The Major League Baseball All-Star Game is quickly approaching Tuesday, July 11th. Excited about the Midsummer Classic. Probably my favorite of all of the professional All-Star Games. Um, you know, whether you agree or disagree that this game should have meaning, uh, it, it's always a lot of fun for me to watch and something that I've been paying attention to for as long as I can remember. Um, as far as the, the All-Stars and the ballot closing today, um, I'm going to give you my All-Star picks. Um, we'll go position by position through both leagues. So we'll start with the catcher position. In the American League, it's Salvador Perez from the Kansas City Royals. Uh, for me, slight edge over Gary Sanchez with the Yankees, who's also having a terrific season. Salvi might be uh, you know, among the best defensive catchers in baseball, plus he has the best offensive numbers in the American League. Buster Posey is a no-brainer from the National League uh, and maybe the easiest write-in vote of, of both teams in every single position. Buster Posey just far and away the best catcher in the National League. As far as first baseman in the American League, for nostalgic reasons, I wanted to give my vote to Miguel Cabrera. Um, he's having right now what is probably his worst uh, statistical season as a professional baseball player, and it's the beginning of the end for Miguel Cabrera as one of the elite in baseball. And so part of me wants to kind of give him that nod one last time. Um, you never know. Maybe he comes back next year and, and has a much better season. But um, I think in the American League, I've got to go Justin Smoke, a guy that has just been unreal with the Toronto Blue Jays and his his first half numbers are really hard to ignore. In the National League, uh, this was probably the toughest decision of any on the entire ballot because uh, it's a, a loaded position in the National League with Paul Goldschmidt, Joey Votto, Ryan Zimmerman, um, Anthony Rizzo. I mean, the list goes on as far as all-star deserving first baseman. Um, I would go Paul Goldschmidt. I think uh, when you look at his 323 average, the home runs and RBIs, um, I mean, across the board in every category, he ranks among the top in all of Major League Baseball. Um, he's terrific in the field in Arizona, obviously, with a tremendous start. Um, I got to go Goldschmidt, but, you know, the three I, I also mentioned, I think, are very deserving. Second base in the American League and National League, pretty easy picks for me. Jose Altuve from the Houston Astros and Daniel Murphy from the Washington Nationals. The shortstop position in the National League, once again, pretty easy for me, especially when you consider Zach Cozart getting hurt recently. Uh, I think that, that makes it easy to pick Corey Seager from the Los Angeles Dodgers. In the American League, for most of the season, I've had Francisco Lindor from the Cleveland Indians as my guy, but um, as, as his game has kind of fallen off the last few weeks and Carlos Correa uh, continues to get better and better, I think the average now over 300, I'm going to go Carlos Correa as we uh, wrap up the uh, open ballot portion of, of the season. Third base in the National League um, comes down to two guys, Nolan Arenado and Chris Bryant. Arenado's offensive numbers just slightly better than Chris Bryant, and I think he's a better defensive third baseman. Um, also, for whatever it's worth, Colorado has been terrific in what might be, at least at the top, the toughest division in baseball right now when you consider what the Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and Rockies are all doing. So Arenado gets my vote at third base. In the American League, it came down to Jose Ramirez and Miguel Sano. Uh, maybe for those not familiar with baseball, two unknown names. But uh, Jose Ramirez has just been phenomenal for the Cleveland Indians. Um, and a, a, really a big surprise beginning last year. And I think at this point, uh, the most deserving of the third baseman. In the outfield, um, with the American League, it's interesting because Mike Trout has only played in 40-something games, basically half of the first half of the season, yet his numbers are as good as any of the candidates that you would choose for the American League outfield. Um, so I, I don't even know if he's going to be healthy. Reports that he could potentially be back just before the All-Star game. Some reports that they want to keep him out until after the All-Star game. He's the best player in Major League Baseball, and even only playing half the game so far, his numbers warrant him being out there. So Mike Trout gets one vote for me. Uh, Aaron Judge has just stolen the headlines in Major League Baseball this season. He would be my second outfielder. And then George Springer from the Houston Astros gets spot number three. In the National League, this is uh, kind of interesting because where do you put Cody Bellinger? And he wasn't even on the official Major League Baseball ballot uh, he played over half of his games this season in the outfield before uh, moving to first base. He's a natural first baseman, but 
Um, if I'm giving you my all-star team, Cody Bellinger is going to be one of the three outfielders. Bryce Harper and Charlie Blackman are the other two. Um, you know, if, if you're making me pick, I guess, guys off of the official ballot, then it would be Bryce Harper, Charlie Blackman, and Marcelo Zuna. But um, I, I, I would want Cody Bellinger's accomplishment so far this season to be recognized. He's been one of the best in baseball. And as far as the resume goes, he deserves to be in the All-Star game. And I would vote him a starter in the outfield. Again, considering most of his games this year started have been in the outfield position rather than at first base. So that's my uh, All-Star selections in both the American and National League. And excited about the Major League Baseball All-Star game coming up July 11th.